I got some questions on how I did the Big D guitars inlay on that neck I just posted and I took one of my stickers and resized it down to about 60% on my copy machine. I then glued it down with some Elmer's glue and some blue tape and I used a little bit of a smaller router bit this time to do this. It's not as thick of a router bit but I am again going to start on the inside and then route out sort of pulling that down and seeing how it looks like. Needed a little bit more cleanup, so I peel the sticker off, and now that I can see what I'm doing, I can go back and get any of the spots that I'm missing. So you don't just have, always have to have the sticker on, you can always pull it off once you get sort of a, an outline out, and then you can reroute. So here I actually clean up the edges a little bit, make it a little bit straighter, and then I'll come back with my chisel and chisel it out just a bit to make it smooth. So that B just needs a little bit of love on the top. And the lines look pretty straight. So then I've got this plus clay that I found at Hobby Lobby. And it's a baking clay, so I push it in, get it nice and in there, and make sure I got all the voids filled. This I don't have to use any glue or go back over it because it's clay and once it's in, it's in. And then I'll get my heating blanket Instead of putting this in the oven, I'll just put my heating blanket on it for about an hour at about 200 degrees and leave it. So it feels pretty hard. We'll come back with some 320, sand it down. And this clay sands really nice. It was really quick to do. Come back with my power sander and 600. And at this point, I'm done. So that's a quick clay inlay. Just another way to do an inlay, showing you guys a, a bunch of stuff here. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next vid.